Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Nest temperature sensor. This got released a few weeks back and this is the answer to getting the right temperature in each of your rooms with your Nest thermostat. First of all, you'll need a Nest thermostat third generation, as well as a smartphone or a tablet so you could get this set up. So let's see what's in the box. So here we got the Nest setup pamphlet. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. Open the app, tap the gear icon, and add the Nest sensor. Nothing to it. We'll just put this aside. Here we got the limited warranty pamphlet. Don't care about that. And here we got the actual Nest temperature sensor. It is quite small. It has a nice build to it. Here you'll see on the back that it has a spot to hang it onto a wall. Um, here we got the QR code so you can hook it up to your Nest. And over here you'll see that there's a spot to screw which I assume is to replace a CR2 battery. In the box you'll also find a screw to mount it onto the wall. So here you just place it like this and it hangs onto the wall obviously. And here is the mounting template so you can position it correctly. So now let's flip over into the app and get this set up with our Nest thermostat. Okay, so here we are now at the Nest app. And the first thing we'll do is we'll hit the cog on the top right hand side of your screen. And then we're gonna scroll down to add product. And then we're gonna grab the um, QR code that came attached to the battery section of your Nest temperature sensor. And we'll just scan it in. And here we are, meet your Nest temperature sensor. Make sure that you're comfortable in the rooms that you care about. Use the temperature of a single room all the time or just for part of the day. We'll click next. And here we see it's been added to our Nest account. We'll click next again. And I've already pulled out the tab as you can see from when I scan the QR code. So the battery is now active. We'll hit next. And we'll hit next here because we're just going to find a good place in our house where we want to have this temperature sensor set up. Click next. I've already taken the sensor up into our room upstairs, so I'll just click on next. And now you can see that it has connected to my dining room thermostat. Hit next again. And where did we put this Nest temperature sensor? I'm going to say upstairs. And this is just saying how you can mount it, where you could put it. We'll click next again. And now that we're done setting it up, we'll hit done again. Now on the main screen, you'll just click on your Nest thermostat. Slightly below, you'll see that the dining room thermostat has a temperature of 22 and the upstairs temperature sensor has a temperature of 21. Next, I'm gonna set the sensor schedule in order to give it the times that it's going to be available to regulate temperature. So at the top, we'll hit the cog once again. And we'll go to manage sensors. And here you can see the schedule at the bottom where it says morning, this sensor, which is by default, it's going to be my, my actual dining room thermostat, but you can switch it. See how it says upstairs and this temperature sensor. For me, I just need this at night, so I will go down to the bottom here where it says night, this thermostat, and I'm just going to flip it over to my Nest temperature sensor. So that's going to conclude the video. It's a really simple, quick video. Uh, if you like it, hit the like button down below, subscribe, share if you can, and I'll see you on the next one.